Hello, my name is Peter Rosthorn, and welcome back to onboarding the non-technical Open Badges Infrastructure Implementer. In this series of screencasts, I am going through a step-by-step -step guide I am creating for implementing Open Badges. Uh, over the previous screencasts, I've looked at a, just a lot of the reference material and blog posts and wikis and, and things like that. Uh, in this screencast, I'm going to start talking about going out and claiming your first badge. Um, there's a number of ways that you can go and claim a badge. Um, Open Badges has a, a sample badge that you can go and claim for yourself to start thinking about how uh, Open Badging works. Uh, also look at a couple of other sites that have, uh, have badging abilities. The Khan Academy I is probably one of the first uh, major educational approaches to start issuing badges quite uh, comprehensively within a lot of their uh, courses and, and, and resources that are available to you. And then also there's Foursquare, which uh, offers you the ability to grab a badge just from visiting a particular place. Um, and then also there is the ability to earn badges up at peer-to-peer uh, -peer university. Um, but let's take a look at what's going on here. Uh, the first area here is this open badges. We have the ability to uh, ish get yourself a badge just by getting started. As you can see here, that sort of walks you through a fairly simple uh, number of screens that have some information, and then it'll start asking you some questions about the information that was on those screens. And when you finish up, you will be issued a badge that you can go and claim and put in your backpack um, for display. Um, one of the other areas where you can go and claim a badge is Khan Academy. Um, they've done an excellent job of, of putting a comprehensive set of badges together um, that you can claim or earn or get for many different levels that have a very strong badging system design. As you can see here, there's numbers of different badge types, but even within all those badge types, you can see that there's a number of, of badges that you can earn. Uh, very wonderful and comprehensive set and good to see that uh, badges are being issued uh, within a learning environment. Uh, what's also really neat about what the Khan Academy has done is, is that they've taken it further through to the point where you can also use Facebook as your displayer for your Khan Academy badges. Here's a, a, a good blog post that you can go and, and read and take a look at published back in May of, of 2012. Um, as you can see here, they have a screen widget that will go on your timeline and display the badges that you have earned. Uh, again, there's a fairly good walkthrough and discussion here on the blog post from Khan Academy. Um, you know, I think the main point here is, is that uh, here's an example of, a, of a, uh, an area of learning where they're issuing badges and you really using a, an op a badging approach uh, that's working quite well. You could also go and earn a badge with Foursquare. Uh, Foursquare is, a, is a, a service that sort of allows you to check in places and visit places and, and sort of uh, geographic location idea. And it's fairly easy to just go and as soon as you check in at some place, you could earn yourself your first badge. Um, Foursquare is doing some interesting stuff, so sometimes they actually also have um, badges for challenges where if you're the first or if you go and visit this particular spot, um, geographically on the planet, like you go to the Parthenon in Athens or, or you go to uh, some of the pyramids in Egypt or something, you can also go and claim a badge for a particular location. Uh, what I find interesting about what Foursquare is doing is they're showing that badges can be issued for numbers of different things um, that equate to just achieving something or, or learning something. And of course, uh, P2PU um, also has the ability to issue badges. The uh, Open Badges 101 course that has been developed, uh, you complete that course and you will earn a badge. One of the neat things that uh, P2PU does is it also provides other badges that have to do with sort of providing feedback and, and peer-based activities. So again, here's a, a different way to go and earn a badge. I strongly suggest that you go out and earn yourself a few badges. And after you've done that, you know, give some really g deep 
thinking about what are the three main roles or infrastructures within um, the issuing of badges where you have the issuer and, and what is the issuer role and what is the importance and what is it that they need to do. There's also the earner who can go out and earn themselves badges, but there's also the displayer role about how you will display your badges and where you display your badges and, and the issues around those. So give some thought to those main roles within you know issuing and claiming and earning and displaying a badge and um, go out and earn yourself a badge. One thing that's important to note at this time is also that the open badges infrastructure is working towards creating a standard for uh, badging, um, hence the name open badges is the idea is, is that we're developing a messaging protocol that all of the badge issuers could use so that a person uh, can bring all their badges together and manage their own badges in their own way. So. Uh, through time, uh, Mozilla is working towards uh, having open badges as a standard um, for badge issuing and, and, and displaying so that Khan Academy or Foursquare or any of the other badge issuers and displayers can use the same messaging protocol so that the user or the earner ends up in complete control of their badges and is able to display them where they want to but also has one place in which they can manage uh, their badges. So. Go out and claim yourself a badge and, and enjoy what badges have to offer and, and give some, some thought to where they work and how they work and any sort of interesting ideas about how badges can be earned or issued. Have a great day.